Hello again. We are going to read a story called Soapy Scientist. Now, Miss Haley and her daughter Kylie have done a video about bubbles that is going to be on here later. So we're gonna read this before we watch that video. All right, so let's get in here. Soapy Scientists. Bubbles make me smile. I love the rainbow of colors that shine on the surface of the bubbles. So she definitely looks happy, doesn't she? <laughs> I wonder, there's that word again, wonder where the bubbles are going as I watch them float aimlessly through the air. I think bubbles are friends with the wind. Perhaps this is why the wind carries them up, up, up over the playground fence to a mysterious place where I cannot follow. Sometimes my friends and I chase the bubbles. We like to see how many we can pop. Our teacher, Mr. Solis, gives us paper cups with bottoms removed to use as bubble blowers. I dip the big end of the cup in the bubble solution and then I blow gently from the other end. I can also use the paper cup to make a long tube shaped bubble. Look at that one. Let's see if you can see it. That's a long bubble. I dip the big end of the cup in the bubble solution and then I move my arm slowly through the air. I love these funny bubbles. When it's time to clean up outdoors, Mr. Solis uses a little white vinegar to wipe up the spills on the playground, table, and sidewalk. He says it's the fastest way to clean up soapy spills. We don't want anybody to slip and fall. The sticky bubble solution gets slippery when it rains. We play with bubbles inside too. We blow bubbles with a straw. Mr. Solis helps us practice blowing the correct way. We each hold up an index finger and pretend it's a birthday candle. Then we blow gently and steadily so the candle will go out. If I blow through the straw this same way, I can make bubbles. So he's telling them they have to blow really slowly because let's predict, what do we think would happen if we blew really hard into the straw and it hit the bubbles? Do you think it would splash everywhere? I think you're right, it would. We set up a science experiment to find out whether we can make better bubbles with warm water or cold water. We make predictions about what we think will happen and then test our ideas. We are soapy scientists. So when you make a prediction, that means you are guessing what is going to happen before you know. So um, a scientist will predict what they think is going to happen. Mr. Solis writes the recipe for making bubble solutions on chart paper. And Miss Stephanie is gonna type up this recipe and send it to you on here also, so you have it at home. We write about bubbles in our journals. I can, de I can decide to copy the bubble recipe so I can make bubbles at home. I'm pretty sure my daddy will love blowing bubbles with me. Everybody loves bubbles. The end. All right, so Miss Stephanie is going to type out the recipe and attach it to this video. So if you'd like to make bubbles at home, you can do that.